Hello everybody, welcome to the collection update video for June 2023. I haven't done one of these for a couple of months. I don't do one of these every month now because I don't collect as many to warrant a video uh, every month. Um, sometimes if you look, I do do shorts and I'll show things off that I've got in the shorts. So this essentially is what I have picked up for the last couple of months. Um, and some of these have got unboxings already on the channel if you're interested. And I'll try and point out to you which one of these have the unboxings on the channel. Right, so we'll get straight into it. Um, and the first one is the M. Night Shyamalan film, Knock at the Cabin. Um, I really enjoyed this one. I have reviewed it on the channel in the sleeve. Pretty decent. Uh, I haven't rewatched it yet. I'm waiting to watch this uh, again at home. But yeah pretty happy to pick that up and add it to the collection i do think it was a strong film this next one does have an unboxing on the channel if you're wanting to see more of what is in this one and it is the john wick chapters one to four blu-ray box set so you get all four of the john wick films in there again in the sleeve there we go keeps the collection nice and tidy there next one um this has finally got its uh, UK Blu-ray release. I do have this, I believe, on uh, German or Spanish import. But I've picked up the UK release of this. It came out, I think, on the 12th of June. Wanted Dead or Alive, the Rutger Hauer classic film from the 80s. One of my favourite Rutger Hauer films, this one. Very, very good indeed. If you've not seen it before, then you need to give it a check. Check it out for sure. Well, it's a good film. So I'm finally happy to add that to the collection. We Can we just have The Witcher, uh, not sorry, The Witcher, The Hitcher on Blu-ray, please, for the UK. That would be lovely. The next one is another box set. And this is, I think this has a, an unboxing on the channel as well. And it is the Creed 3 film collection. So you get Creed, Creed 2, and the newest of Creed 3 that has just been released. So there we go, that's in the sleeve as, as well. So I've got all three Creed films now. There we go. Pretty happy to get that. And the next one is Cocaine Bear. The bonkers um, action comedy horror, I suppose, uh, where the, care, uh, the bear goes a bit mental because it has some cocaine and goes on a rampage killing people. Pretty amusing stuff. I quite enjoyed that. It was quite funny, I think. Right, so the next one. I picked this up because I realised I didn't have it in the in the collection. And I re-watched this recently so that I could do a channel. I'd do a review very recently for this one. Can't get my words out today. And it is Evil Dead. The 2013 reboot, whatever you want to call it. There we go, so Evil Dead. If you haven't seen that, there is a review on the channel. If you're not sure what it's like, i give you a review on this. Now, this I picked up, um, I think, while I was away last weekend um, at Skege, Skegness. And it is the Martian Extended Edition. This is in the sleeve. Now, I do have a normal version of the Martian. I didn't know this was out there. And this has got... Um, Two hours of special features. It's got an, uh, it's just extended, so it's got scenes in it that wasn't in it before, and it's three discs as well. Am I right in thinking? No, sorry, two discs. I thought it was three discs, but no, I'm wrong. It's got two discs. So yeah, I always like to kind of upgrade if there's a better version of a film out there. Um, so I'm happy to add this. It's a very very good film, The Martian. Um, next one, I think I got this in a charity shop, and it is Flight of the Phoenix. I haven't seen this for so long. Dennis Quaid, um, Hugh Laurie, people like that. I remember this being quite good, and I quite enjoyed this. And I do think it's a remake of an older film. But it's so long since I've seen that. Um, I will check it out and review it at some point. Then there is... The Road, this is supposed to be fantastic, never seen it, I need to give it a watch in the sleeve, pop that on there. 
there is The Hunt for Red October, Sean Connery, Alec Baldwin, Scott Glenn. Not a lot to say on that one. You've all heard of this. Good, good film. I will probably, I know there is like a box set or two out there with all the films in with, um, um, oh, I've forgotten the name now. Um, Harrison Ford played him in a couple of films as well. Name's just gone. Phew. There we go. Um, Southpaw. Got this to watch yet. I haven't seen this one. I've heard it's pretty good boxing film. Um, with Jake Gyllenhaal and Rachel McAdams, Forrest Whitaker. So yeah, I will definitely give that one a watch. And then I picked this up because I've been watching a lot of his comedy on YouTube. Um, and I do quite enjoy his comedy. And it is Mickey Flanagan, Back in the Game, live. Um, so that's still sealed and that. I think it was on Amazon. I think I paid about £3 for this in a sale on Amazon. So... I thought I'd, I'd pick it up. I don't have an awful lot of like stand-up DVDs and Blu-rays, but I do have some. And I picked this up very recently in Skegness as well, and it is the Idiot Abroad Blu-ray box set, the complete collection. So you get all three seasons, three series, sorry, of uh, An Idiot Abroad. So we've got An Idiot Abroad, we have An Idiot Abroad 2 and An Idiot Abroad 3. So you get all three seasons, series, God, we're not in America now, of An Idiot Abroad, one of my favourite shows that, very, very good, very, very funny if you haven't seen it with Carl Pilkington and Ricky Gervais. And to finish, I have got some, um, f well, I've got, a couple of imports, um, which I shall show you first, and that is the Rooker, Clint Eastwood. After doing the um, live stream recently over at Dan's Movie Cave with Eastwood for Life Fan and 101 Bronson, where we talked about Clint Eastwood, um, I had a look through and see what I needed to add to the collection. So I've added the Rooker, which is a fun um, like action film with... Charlie Sheen and obviously uh, Clint Eastwood and then we have The Gauntlet I don't like that cover I mean The Gauntlet's poster if you look if you look up The Gauntlet poster the Clint Eastwood film the poster's awesome why they haven't put that on I God only knows because that's a terrible um, sleeve but that's I think quite an underrated Clint Eastwood film The Gauntlet and one that I have reviewed recently on the channel Bloodwork. Again, I don't like that cover. Uh, it's pretty uninteresting. But the film itself, I think, is pretty good. And check out the review that I did fairly recently on the channel for Bloodwork. I think it's another underrated Clint Eastwood film. And that is pretty much it, guys, for the month of June. Like I say, not mountains and mountains of stuff. I have picked up some figures and things like that, which I have done unboxings for. I've shown them off on shorts, things like that. Um, if there's anything that I've shown on shorts that I haven't done an unboxing for that you would be or an unboxing for that you would be interested in seeing, let me know in the comments. Um, and of course, guys, I will be back with loads more reviews and content on the channel very, very soon.